The lizard holds a crimson-soaked rag against his side. He looks up as you approach, his expression oddly serene. <sighs> Magisters, they found our camp near the old harbour and unleashed hell upon us. I, I'm lucky in a way. I was wounded by an arrow. It wasn't just sword and spear the Magisters used on us. No, they had these weapons. Living beings, depleted of source and crucified, pathetic to look at until... until... <sighs> the power that they unleashed. There was nothing we could do. Only run. Shriekers, they're called. I can still hear that sound they uttered. Makes my scales crawl. Sir Gareth is looking for a way to defeat them now. Let us hope he finds it. The young woman chews her lower lip as she observes the injured before her. She bends to grab a rag, wiping her blood-smeared hands. She looks up and sees you. If you're looking for healing, sorcerer, well, there's not much I can do. I wouldn't be much of a seeker if I didn't recognize a sorcerer, especially one still wearing their collar. Please. There are many sorcerers in the world, but we have to help a special few above all others. Sorcerers with unique talents. Please, it hurts. She takes you in and almost smiles. I suppose we'll see about you. If we ever make it out of here, that is. But before that, I've got the injured to see to. If you know a way, I'd be beyond grateful. Magic. All I've got is my own two hands and... She trails off and limply gestures to her paltry makeshift infirmary. I'm not even a healer. Ours was killed in the attack. I'm just a cook. A few hours ago that might have helped. Look at their pallor. Only magic can pull them back from the brink now. Do what you will. Just don't cause them any more suffering. See the other guy. What's left of him, anyway? Claude, Claude, can you hear me? Pan stares fixedly at the dirt floor, twitching lips, giving away the grimace he's trying to hide as Samadel applies stinking ointment to a deep. Glad you made it here in one piece. Any idea what you're going to do next? Sure, just don't get too cozy. If you're smart, you won't stay here too long. Folks here just want to cry over spilt milk and wait for Gareth. Soon as Undead almost got me on the way in. Had to kick his head right off to get free. Put my foot through his skull and, well... Kids aren't kids anymore. Not here, at least. We're all just survivors, I guess. Sure, Lay is her name. She'll be down by the water. Word of warning, though? She's kind of a basket case. If you have one to spare, I sure would appreciate it. 
He gulps down the potion and stretches his leg in front of him, grinning. Almost good as new now. Thanks. Samadel smiles with relief at Han's healed leg, bowing gently in thanks when your eyes meet. Move, Jules. Save your strength. The lizard's eyes are now closed. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. You're welcome to whatever you can find. Nice doing business with you. I wish I had better wares to offer. Duggan stands over Laird. There, there, lass. Don't you? I'm fine. I swear. See to the others. The wound is festering. It needs to be changed. I will not be a burden. Leave me be. Echoes of death. like nobody's home.
the seven will show us. You're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Smoke and screams. Echoes of death. Gareth. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. No, no, we don't have the time. Think, damn it. Gary would know what to do. If I had four I Wish, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep. Armadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? You seek the same information as Gareth. You stand in the peace of Armadia's love and search for more ways to kill. What creatures we are. I always felt safe in Armadia's presence, but now that the Void Woken stalk the swamp, perhaps you are right. On this island, there lies an ancient armory, filled with soul-forged weapons, powerful enough to turn aside any Shrieker. They are the weapons that brought the Seekers so low. I have read of similar devices in books detailing Bracchus's crimes. I had hoped Rivalon would never see them again, but these are dark days. Perhaps in one of Bracchus's vaults, they are scattered across this isle. One cannot know which have been ransacked and which left secure. He set off north to the ruins of Bracchus's source armory, but there is no way to know what he found there. Even if he survived the swamps, Walk ever in Armadia's grace, child. Found him. I won't ever stop. Maybe we should fortify this place. Make us down. No, Wish, no. Bonnie Barn, don't now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the do. moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're I safe in bed. Found him. So close your but sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the Maybe sky. Maybe we should fortify this place. Make us down. The seven watch o'er us. No, You're no. safe in bed. We don't have the time. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Gareth will know what to do.
found him. I won't ever stop. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps, his face a tight scowl of frustration. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. Every approach blocked. Oh, damn it. What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? A sorcerer, indeed. I should have realized. A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Though, of course, your collar gives you away. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. That's, that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. The Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons called shriekers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. Our chances are dwindling. It seems as though someone's been killing what few Godwoken there are. Alexander himself is Godwoken, but he hasn't risen yet. It hasn't succeeded his father as the Divine. I wouldn't put it past him killing other Godwoken to eliminate... <coughs> if he's behind this, then he's putting the future of Rivalon at stake just to soothe his bruised ego. We need to get past those Shriekers to find someone worthier than him. There's weapons, ancient devices that can catch but he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth does... Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes, rest your wee head. Maybe we should fortify this place, make a stand. No, no, we don't have the time. <laughs> Think, damn it. <laughs> Gareth would know what to do. Maybe we should fortify this place. Make a stand. No, no, we don't have the time. Think, damn it. Gareth would know what to do. Seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head.
Still no sign of Sir Gareth. We need him and those weapons. Now don't you cry. The birds are asleep. The moon's in the sky. The Still no sign of Sir Gareth. We need him and those weapons. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. The seven watch o'er us, you're safe in bed. So close your sweet eyes and rest. Duggan stands over Leia, singing softly as she mutters about Gary. There, there, lass. Don't you... Wished, Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. <laughs> Hello again, child. <laughs> what brings you here? In the sky. No, no, we don't have the time. The seven watch o'er us. You're safe in bed. Gary would know what to do. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Go in our Mardi. Please, Armadi, bless and protect your humble Wished servant. Bonnie Barn, now don't you Smoke cry. And screams, echoes of death. The birds are asleep. The moon's Gareth, in the sky. Please come back. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging the repairable, ditching the broken. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and splintered, the hilt twisted. I pray that you eat. 
Martha's axe looks serviceable. This is scrap. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. <laughs> 